Sunday afternoon and another demonstration. But this Sunday, it's a demonstration with a difference. These angels are protesting against severe redundancies in their work. Nowadays, times are hard even for angels, and this demonstration is just the tip of the iceberg. Later on this month, they're planning to lobby the Pope, and they may even disrupt the fourth test match. What is it that has driven them out of the miracles and onto the streets? Sheer desperation. The unemployment among angels is now critical. Twain out of six cherubim are out of work. The redundancy scheme is hopelessly inadequate. And of course, as in more, also there's no retirement and consequently no pension. Last time we protested, our union representative, the then angel Satan, was kicked out of heaven and blacklisted. Since then, of course, he set up an alternative management and he's doing very well for himself. What is the basic cause of this discontent amongst the younger angels, O oh Lord? Unfortunately, the management refused to talk to any of our reporters, although we did manage to speak to one of his servants for a small fee. It's true that angels have had a rough deal since the Middle Ages. Uh, they used to have their pictures painted and they were always around for a miracle, but uh, nowadays there's just no call for them, I'm afraid. Thank you, Father. Will a pound be all right? These angels have been maintaining this sit-in now for several weeks, frustrating all police attempts to remove them. Nine times they've been evacuated and ten times they've returned. So far, the police have been totally unable to cope with the problem. It's totally unfair. We've been trying to shift this lot for four weeks now and they keep cheating. Every time we try to put the boot in, they fly away. Still, we're going to try insect repellent next. Well, you certainly look fed up. Uh, is it, in fact, as bad as all that? Well, think of the hours we work. We're bloody immortal. We, we haven't had a day off since the seventh day when God rested. And Gabriel's been blowing his trumpet for over 5,000 years. The living conditions are appalling, Brian. The land's flowing with milk and honey. That means you can't put your feet anywhere without treading up to your ankles in a sticky mess of semi-pasteurised. The other day, I got up, feet into the milk and honey. The time I got to the toilet, I was walking on butter. One angel who has solved the problem yeah. is now the chief cashier at a West London bank. Well, after two million years service, I decided to jack it in and get a proper job. I'm much happier working here at the National Westminster Bank, and of course you do get a pension. It's not true then that you had to leave because of some trouble with the cherubim? No, no, this is a wicked rumour put around by the people upstairs. In fact, the cherubim is now my lovely wife, Peter. Oh. Well, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Not at all. Many dissatisfied angels have opted for this way out. Archangel Ray has opened a hairdressing salon in Wolverhampton, whilst Angel Nobby runs a successful massage parlour and high-class escort agency. Not all ex-angels, however, have been so lucky. I used to be in heaven, up on cloud nine, with a silver lining I used to call mine. Now you can find me walking the street. I'm a fallen archangel, woo my poor feet. Whistle a happy tune, oh, whistle a happy tune, oh, whistle a happy tune. That's a funny thing, isn't it? I mean, why sing whistle a happy tune? Oh, I think you're supposed to whistle it. Oh, yeah? Well, you sing whistle while you work, don't you? Ah, yes, but you're not working while you sing whistle while you work. If you were working, you'd have to whistle whistle while you work. You're an argumentative bastard, aren't you? Oh, no, no, I, I don't mean to be. It's just I like logic and ambiguity. Oh, Professor William Empson, I presume. Well, actually, my name is William. But not Empson? No, no, it's, um... What? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. What is it? Uh, no, 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 it's a silly name. What? No, 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 it, it's too silly. William will do. What is it? No, 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 you'll laugh. No, I won't. Yes, you will. People always do. No, go on, tell me. I won't laugh, will you? What? Plastic B-Day. What? William? Plastic B-Day? Yes. <laughs> you 
<laughs> laughed. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I do apologise. How rude. Not at all. Well, William <laughs> Stephen B. Day, how come you're hanging round this post box then? Is it your going to check that postman? No. Ah, oh, well, there are thousands who do. What do you mean? Postal groupies. Postal groupies? Yeah, shameless post office groupies. They'll stop at nothing to tamper with Her Majesty's mails. Oh, it's a great problem. What's your game, then? Oh, uh, very simply, I've just put the wrong letter in the wrong envelope, and it's, it's very important that it doesn't go. Ah, oh, well, William Plastic Beat, eh? I'd like to help you. Thanks. But I can't. Once that letter drops in the box, it's finished. Oh, dear. Once the fingers let go of that envelope, it's the property of Her Majesty. It's a sacred, inviolable trust. If God himself asked for his letter back, I should have to say no. Oh, dear. If the Virgin Mary went down on her bended knees and asked for her Paul's coupon back, I should have to go and say her. Yes? If the present Pope and all his cardinals, bishops... And OK, everybody... OK, OK, I'll get the picture. Well, look, what if I was to give you something? A bribe? Yes. Ah, well, that's different. Fine. I should have to have you arrested. Look, it's very important. It's a letter to my wife. Ah, oh, cherche la femme. What? Look out the wife. It's French. <laughs> Directly I copped eyes on your dilemma, I said to myself, Arthur Hipjoint, I said. Is that your name? What? Arthur Hipjoint? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> that is a perfectly ordinary name. Please, <laughs> take me with you. I'll do anything. Bloody postal groupies. Oh, please. I'll take you to my room and... And what? It's been cut. <laughs> well, wasn't there a rewrite? Yeah. I'll take you to my room and eat biscuits. <laughs> well, that's not very good, is it? Terrible. Hey, do you think we can go and get it changed? Try. Well, well, you know, well, I mean, we've had a lot of trouble on the series, haven't we?